President Trump is again promoting Congressman Ron DeSantis to be the Republican nominee for governor in Florida. He sent out a new tweet today calling DeSantis a brilliant young leader. Our latest Fox News poll indicates State Agriculture Commissioner Adam Putnam is ahead of DeSantis, but 39 percent of voters in Florida say they are still undecided. We will have a debate between the top two candidates live from Orlando next Thursday night, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, hosted by Martha McCallum and yours truly. This evening, correspondent Peter Ducey looks at how that race in Florida is shaping up. The early front runner in the fight to be Florida's Republican nominee for governor. How are you? Adam Putnam, the agriculture commissioner, and his platform is focused on a lot more than crops and livestock. Well, what we're seeing is forces from the left come into Florida to hijack our politics. And it's not because they care about our schools. It's not because they care about our business climate. It's not because they care about how much traffic there is on the Florida Turnpike. It's because they're choosing Florida as a proxy fight for the war on the White House in 2020. So help me God. The last three governors in Florida have all been Republicans, Jeb Bush, Charlie Crist, and Rick Scott. The state is also home to the highest percentage of residents, 65 and over, in the U.S. They want a place where they can retire and have government off their back. So a lot of these voters, this older generation, tend to come out in uh, when they vote in higher numbers. Congressman Ron DeSantis has never won a statewide election, but finds ways for Florida voters to keep tabs on him on Capitol Hill. I am earning my paycheck. I mean, I'm up here fighting. You know, we're holding, uh, trying to hold the Peter Strzok's and the Comey's accountable. And doing that caught President Trump's attention. He tweeted today, Congressman Ron DeSantis, a top student at Yale and Harvard Law School, is running for governor of the great state of Florida. Ron is strong on borders, tough on crime, and big on cutting taxes, loves our military and and our vets. He will be a great governor and has my full endorsement. As governor of Florida, you're going to have to have a relationship with the White House. We have a hurricane, hopefully not. We need aid. I call the president directly. He's going to take my call. Putnam supports Trump too, but doubts DeSantis can use D.C. connections to win. This is a Florida-based race, and uh, Washington is not going to get it done. And dialing in a gubernatorial campaign from out of state, long distance, isn't going to get it done. Ultimately, this race's result may cause a ripple effect felt far from Tallahassee. As Florida goes, so the nation goes. We're a swing state, we're an important state, and uh, I would like to think that we set the policy here in the state of Florida for the rest of the nation. Outside of D.C., Florida winds up being the backdrop for more major political news than anywhere else because that's where the president's Mar-a-Lago estate is. And his involvement in this race could make a big difference as Republican primary voters there give him a sky-high 86% approval rating. Brett? Peter, thank you.